Hello, my name is Amber Bosley. This is my presentation for IB Film Study Standard Level. Today I will be discussing the 1998 drama film Festa and directed by Thomas Winterberg. Winterberg's first feature film was The Biggest Heroes, which received acclaim in his native Denmark. However, in 1995 he formed the Dogma Manifesto um, and the Vow of Chastity movement with Lars von Trier, Christian Levering and Soren Krag Jakobsen. This movement was a shift away from um, conventional film um, and it was an attempt for directors to take back power of films um, as opposed to the studio. The very first Dogma film that Winterberg created, and uh, the very first Dogma one, um, was Festin, um, which was a huge success as it won numerous awards and nominations, including the Joy Prize at 1998 Cannes Films Festival. Um, you could say that Festin provided a breakaway from typical filmmaking and instead showed a more authentic and realistic approach um, and insight into the emotional plot of Festin, which would imply um, indicate why it um, received such a positive reception. Um, but Winterberg's following dogma films, such as It's All About Love and Dear Wendy, Wendy did not receive as positive reviews, um, as Dear Wendy only sold 14,521 tickets in Winterberg's native Denmark. Um, this drop in Festin in dogma films could suggest the lack of interest in the new wave and imply that it's come to an end, potentially because dogma films had become quite um, genetic in themselves, which goes against the aims and goals of the Dogma 95 movement. Um, Winterberg also presents many themes in Festin, such as family relationships, humiliation and revenge, social class, hypocrisy, racism and suicide. But I would say the most profound theme within Festin would be the family relationship relationships, especially that, those between um, the father and son, um, Christian, as he endured um, sexual abuse from his father. Um, this sexual abuse um, within a family, especially a higher class family, defies typical traits of it, and um, as are usually pre presented as unflawed and perfect. Um, you could suggest that um, Winterberg is trying to imply throughout these themes that not all high class families are as pitch perfect as they may appear or as how society makes them appear. Um, and the health themes of suicide and sexual abuse and the um, things that come with that um, within Festing could suggest that um, Winterberg is also trying to raise awareness for abuse and mental health. Um, because in 1998, Groups such as the Royal College of Psychiatrists launched a national campaign with the aim to reduce the stigma attached to mental health problems. And the government also spent more than 2.5 million nationally on mental health promotion between 1997 and 1999. Um, Festin follows the typical conventions of drama films, um, which is a drama that's defined as a narrative fiction intended to be serious and focuses on the in-depth development of realistic characters who must deal with realistic struggles. Um, Festing consists of an, kind of an emotional battle between um, the protagonist, who's Christian, who finds the courage to confront him, the antagonist, which is Held, his father, because he has a realistic problem with his father sexually abusing both him and his sister, who decided to kill herself, probably because of the sexual abuse she endured. Um, the use of a handheld camera within Festin further portrays this sense of realism which the drama um, genre tries to convey. Um, it also gives a sense of authenticity um, and a homemade feel, which um, leads to a tense drama as well, because it reflects the um, drama genre. Um, Festin also conforms to genre, to the genre, drama genre. Um, as it uses typical techniques um, such as low-key lighting, natural lighting and the use of silence um, and it also contains typical drama film, drama genre films uh, <laughs> themes such as issues and racism um, because these are all quite realistic and they build tension and present a recognisably dramatic film which probably engages the audience a bit more because they can see a realistic problem and they want to see it, find a solution for it, especially for Christian. They want to see a new equi equilibrium for him. Um, Festin also effectively um, relinquishes some of the stigma surrounding men in abuse, especially sexual abuse. Um, the topic may not be entirely real enjoyable for the target audience, however, because it is very realistic and audiences tend to watch films in order to, as a route of an escape, um, escapism to watch something that they find more enjoyable and um, like heart lifting. Um, also, Festum, because Festum was released in 1998, 1998 um, 
suicide and mental health and social classes were being addressed a lot more. Um, and so this suggests that the movement of mental health kind of inspired Winterberry to create his own important message within Festin and prove to the target audience that the reality of mental health can be as serious as suicide because um, Christian's sister killed herself because of sexual abuse. Um, it also could be suggested that Festin, that Winterberg implied Festin to be used as an attack on the bourgeoisie because it features the power of social conventions, how society depends on them to deal with unpleasant circumstances such as sexual abuse and suicide, and how difficult they can be to evade. Um, Winterberg himself says that it's a prejudice to say that the working class are heroes in our society. The, sh the chef in this film could easily be a child abuser. This kind of suggests that the themes of social class um, could be used in order to like sort of open the audience's eyes and show them that they are deep that there are deep insights into social classes than stereotypes suggest. Um, these social cultural factors of racism, suicide and mental health and social classes could have helped Festin receive a positive reception with a gross profit of um, one and a half million dollars um, American dollars in February 1999. Um, because these issues were being addressed around Festin's release and were therefore almost considered like current news and more and were therefore going to be more interesting for the target audience. Um, the narrative of Festin engages with Levi Strauss's binary oppositions um, theory, um, especially in Festin with um, the binary oppositions of power versus vulnerability. Um, Christine's the vulnerable protagonist who confronts, his, who confronts not only his father but also the rest of the family um, as they're all on his father's side which also shows the binary opposition of individual versus community. This kind of makes the audience sympathise towards Christian, um, and we continue watching in the hope that Christian wins and, fi or like, and finds a new equilibrium um, where he's happy and he gets almost his revenge over um, Helge, his father. Um, the narrative of Festin is, is linear, um, which allows the audience to experience the story in a similar manner to the old characters which means we kind of gain more of a connection with the characters and which makes us sympathise towards Christian and give hatred towards characters such as the father. Um, it's also a restricted narrative as the audience do not discover Christian's issues until he declares it at the dinner party. Um, this builds tension um, because we aren't aware of what's, hap of what's going to happen but as soon as we do we realise that um, this could be quite dramatic further on and it remains dramatic throughout the, main, the rest of the film really. Um, this therefore catches the audience's attention and um, they become desperate to um, discover how Christine's problem is solved and how he finds a new equilibrium. Um, for the purposes of this presentation, I will perform a textual analysis on the extract of Festin beginning at approximately one hour and three minutes with the close-up of the protagonist Christian to a fight between Christine and other male guests who eventually tie Christine to a tree. This five-minute extract heavily emphasises the themes of social class and features the most tense um, climax, which consequently um, captures the audience's attention. Um, so with sounds in, in Festin, um, there is quite a bit of juxtaposition between um, almost silent and sudden loud noises, especially during conflict between characters. There's also an awkward in atmosphere um, created due to Christine's accusations. For example, at approximately an hour and three minutes, Christian's mum's speech ends by persuading him to apologise. Christian sits silently until he um, sarcastically bangs um, glasses with his um, fork to with his knife to start con to start his speech. Um, it ca this kind of indicates Christian's instability, and it makes us as an audience wonder whether he is actually stable, which makes us feel even further um, sympathetic towards him. As soon as Christian leaves the room after um, being removed by his brothers because of his accusations, the, his grandmother starts singing a song, speaking of peace and calm, and this really juxtaposes with the um, violence and loud noises for when Christine is removed. It kind of implies that the audience, it kind of implies that the family don't care about him and he's kind of become ostracised and ignored by his own family, who don't care to give him support. Um, there's also a loud conflict between the brothers, Christian and his brother, um, when he's tied to a tree, and that further implies how split the family is and highlights how ignorant and selfish his brother is, as he's too interested in his own future and ambitions with his father to make any attempt to support his brother. Um, 
Festin follows the Dogba 95 movement um, rules and vows of chastity as it uses handheld camera. Um, this is effective, especially um, well, throughout the whole five minute, this whole five minute extract, as it emphasizes the chaotic and frantic atmosphere um, that the film is trained due to the violence between Christian and his and the other male guests, um, especially when Christian is thrown to the ground at around five and five at around an hour and five minutes. Um, handheld camera also creates an authenticity close to that of a homemade video, um, which is effective in Festin as it reflects the, the theme of family relationships and how corrupt this, fam this specific family really is, which um, goes against their family ranking. Um, with the editing, fax cuts have been used throughout this five minute extract, um, especially in, at one hour and four minutes. Um, where Christian and his brother are both fighting, and the fast, fast cuts and reverse shots allow us to see both of their reactions, um, and it therefore builds the tension and follows the conventions of a drama film, which um, further engages the audience. Um, at around one hour seven minutes, um, a stab in an establishing long shot of dark woods um, has been shown, with a small patch of light entering the clearing, which sort of nearly hits um, Christian where he's, sit where he's been tied to the tree. This small amount of light could indicate hope for Christian, and it contrasts with the rain and darkness of the woods, and which shows his solitude, sadness, and loneliness. Um, throughout the festum, um, all characters are, made, are dressed, especially male characters, are dressed with um, their black and white suits, which further shows their um, social status. And but the fact that they're fighting just opposes with their um, clothing and it defies the typical expectations of higher class men, um, which could further suggest the fact that Vinterberg could be attacking the social classes and what they actually represent. Um, overall, it has to be said that Festin has left a legacy for film history with its status being the first ever dogma film created. Um, by following the vows of chastity, dog, um, Vinterberg has made the drama of Festin stand out much more against the grainy handheld camera the 35mm film, the lack of props and everything else that constitutes a dogma film. Despite the dogma era ageing and losing popularity, Festin is still deemed the most successful and influential dogma 95 film produced, with stage adaptations produced in nearly all continents.